Well, the standoff over a city employee vaccine mandate continues and is being battled out in the courts right now. An emergency hearing between the city and the police union just wrapped up. The city claims the police union is illegally threatening a work stoppage or strike, but union lawyers say that's not true and the city is simply trying to muzzle their leadership. Megan Dwyer has been watching this hearing. She's got the update for us in the newsroom. Ben and Lourdes, there are dueling lawsuits on this issue now. City employees have until midnight to report whether they are vaccinated. The judge today initially just asked FOP President John Catanzara if he would be willing to stay quiet on this issue throughout the weekend, and he said no. So she ultimately ruled him to keep his mouth shut. The city says his comments have amounted to, quote, mutiny and sedition, and they are not protected by the First Amendment. Despite being sued by the city yesterday, FOP President John Catanzara is standing firm. If you can financially sustain a hit, then stick to your guns, take the hit, and we will fight it. But a Cook County judge just came down on the mayor's side, at least temporarily. Judge Cecilia Haran saying, quote, my ruling is going to be that he should not make public statements that encourage his members to reject or refuse to comply with the city's vaccination policy. He can talk about the issue in private, but he cannot go on social media anymore. The order will stand until at least October 25th when the parties come back to court. The FOP says the mayor has completely disregarded the collective bargaining process He's urging officers to ignore the vaccine mandate and predicting at least half of the force will fail to show up to roll call this weekend. The city cannot keep doing what they're doing. They have an obligation to worry about public safety, not about someone's health status. The city wasn't having it, though, asking the courts to make Catanzara cut it out. And the court says he has to zip it, at least for now. If you ignore a directive of your supervisor, or worse, a direct order that's, uh, that's lawfully given, you're going to destroy your career. That is going to follow you forever. Over what? Going to a website, clicking yes or no, and if no, saying that you're going to sign up for testing? Really? In its court filing, the city says 23 percent of Chicago cops have already had COVID and four have died from it. They are literally in physical contact with residents every single day. Those residents have a right to expect that those officers are not going to get them sick. The city's mandate requires employees to report their vaccination status by midnight. If they say no, they must have a pending exemption or get tested twice a week starting Monday. If they don't say either way, they will stop getting paid and have until December 31st to get a shot or follow the rules. It's not worth following somebody who is leading them literally over a cliff with no parachute. It's foolish. In the hearing this afternoon, city lawyer said nobody will show up tomorrow and get sent home. The city has also promised nobody's pay will be docked until at least Tuesday. The judge said she wants the city and the FOP to get together this weekend and try to hash it out. All right, Megan Dwyer, a lot more to come. Has the mayor at any point given any insight as to the number of police officers who have reported if they're vaccinated or not yet? Or has that number not come out? No, in fact, they said today, lawyers for the city said they are going to have to do their due diligence this weekend to collect that data. I think they're kind of waiting to the last minute here, giving everybody the opportunity to enter that information in the portal right. before they start going into it. Uh, another interesting tidbit, though, John Catanzaro, did tell the court today he is vaccinated. He just doesn't want to tell the city that. Interesting. And you may have a lot of officers who are like that. They say, I'm vaccinated, but I'm not going to tell you. Right. I just don't want to report it. Okay. Yep. Thank you so Thanks, much, Megan. Megan